Have you ever wanted to be a magician? Have you ever wanted to know how to do amazing tricks? Well, with this film, you're not actually gonna, I'm not gonna be able to teach you that because I have no idea anything about that. But what I can do is I can show you how to emulate that in After Effects. So what we're going for here is a final image, uh, is, is this little ice so, trick. So uh, today we're gonna do a cool little trick. I'm just gonna freeze some water. Uh, with my breath just because I'm that cool <laughs> so first of all I'm gonna take water I'm gonna empty glass uh, I'm just gonna pour some water in here so it's about there. there there okay and then um, I'm gonna take a quarter in here so I can freeze it. I want to freeze it it's gonna be stuck in the bottom just throw that in there and then uh, so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm just gonna use like a magic word so the magic word I'm going to use is abracadabra, and when I say abracadabra, I'm just going to blow on the uh, the glass, and when I blow on the glass, hopefully, it should freeze solid. So, abracadabra. Yeah, it's frozen solid. And if you see, I'm going to come over to the camera here real quick, and I'm going to show you. Okay, and here it is. Here's the, uh, we'll get that into focus here real quick. But as you can see, the quarter is in there, and this is very much frozen. So yeah, that's it in a nutshell. So um, I'm not really a magic kind of guy, um, but I can make it look like I am. So here, what we'll do is we'll, we'll kind of show you guys how to do it as well. So what we started with is a couple different videos i did a whole bunch of different videos i needed a friend to help and um i needed to kind of put all that together into a f um, little video here you're going to need some help with this one because it's it's a tricky one what i'll do is i'll kind of just grab these two so i've got some footage here i didn't use all of it because of course knowing me i made a few mistakes so I've got these two uh, 1980 1983 I'm just gonna bring those in here and I'll show you what I mean as far as having a friend help because um, this trick actually believe it or not isn't real so it uses a couple things um, we have to take a uh, an actual cup and we have to freeze it overnight or over a period of a few hours anyway and uh, we need to swap that while I'm chatting so that's the whole thing the whole thing with magic is the illusion and kind of diverting people's attention in this particular case we don't have to do so much because it's very it looks very real if you look directly at it so um, I'll show you what I mean um, I'm gonna import both of these into our composition here uh, still duration I'm just gonna keep it five minutes because we are gonna trim some stuff but I will show you what I mean so here where are these magic hands coming from look at that that's the that's the trick right there see I've got an empty cup um, actually he's playing with it prior to that so what we're doing um, here is we're setting up markers with literally a marker <laughs> and um, so here's the the glass we're going to be setting it up and saying okay this is where it's going to go so i know because it's clear on the bottom i know kind of where to place it uh, as far as composition in the video actually uh, and then so i do my little spiel here what we're going to do is actually we're going to go to the footage at about 30 seconds i'm going to trim that right there because i do a lot of setup here um okay so we start this here we're talking yada yada this is a very quick trick uh, um, I pour the water showing you that it's not a trick then I take my quarter and I throw it in and at this point right here this here me wiping is not a distraction I'm just OCD I got some water on there so it's not my fault you don't have to add that in there um, so yeah here we have uh, me wiping this up and right about here oh there's a sneaky little hand it's marking the exact point where we want to place the cup because you don't want it to be offset because it really looks weird if you do so here it is and he swaps it boop like that as i'm yammering on over there catching your attention then i blow on it so the trick here if you're using after effects hopefully you are because i don't know how to do any other applications so let's go here so we get up to here 
and well, actually, I'm going to go right, bef right before his hand comes in, right there. So I'm going to duplicate that by hitting uh, Control D. Okay. And then now I'm going to go to Edit. Or sorry, Layer, Time, and then we're going to do uh, Freeze Frame right there. Right there. Okay. And then we're going to trim that over to put here. And then we're going to use a mask. And the mask is going to just mask this part right here. You don't want to get too close to me. And then what's going to happen is you're not going to see his hand, right? I'm going to turn the mask off over here, this little section. So now I'm talking, I'm talking. Now when I'm going to blow on it, you can see there's direct, like you can see there's a line there. Uh, that's showing, I mean, that's showing me that I need to trim just a bit back there so it doesn't cut off my beautiful hair there. Um, okay, so now I'll turn this mask off so we can see. There's a definitive line there. We'll fix that later. Uh, and then when I blow on it, this is when you're going to want to do a trans transparency change. This is beautiful because it works it works lovely for uh, for um, freezing ice. So what we're going to do is we're going to say about right there is probably going to be where it gets to 0%. So we hit T. It's going to change opacity. Set that little timer thing there. This is where we want to have 0% right there. And then where I start to blow, that's where I'm going to have 100%. So we're showing the mask on the top going from 100% to 0%. That's a little early. I'll just kind of look that. Look how it goes slow. So yeah, that transition there actually makes it look like it's freezing in front of your eyes when it's, I don't think it really is. So, um, okay, so there's, that's that. Okay, so now we can still see my buddy doing this. So we're going to have to go back to about there and I'm going to bring this in here. There you go. Now there's one other thing like this looks like it's finished, it's, but if you uh, really look, I'm just going to use like a magic word. Yeah. If you really look closely, um, this is another thing that you could probably do and you could fix this on the setup. But when I put the glass down, it's moving. See the water is moving around and around. When I go to the freeze frame, it goes, as you can expect, it's frozen. So it gives you this weird it's, look. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna use it stops sport. moving. That's a little unnatural. So yeah, for that, that hard stop there, what I've done is I've extended this here um, beyond, like I, I've kind of like be before it happens. So you have this sharp edge here. So uh, I'm gonna go to about 31 seconds right after I kind of wipe this thing here. And we're gonna set the keyframe here to 0%. Okay, and I'm gonna bring that in about right, maybe right there. So that we were not kind of catching this OCD this of myself so we're going to go from 31 to about 32 and i'm going to set that frame to 100 uh, percent this is right before the hand comes in so you don't want to get that hand in there so um this should let me see. is um i'm just gonna use see how the transition's a lot easier than a hard stop there so it kind of makes it look like it naturally slows down this is just just to fix an issue that I, I made. I'm actually drag it in as much as I can before I see this hand come in. Right about there. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. Just the longer the transition, the the more natural it looks. Is uh, I'm just gonna use, use like a magic word. Okay, and now now to fix this nasty little hard edge here. So you see that hard edge there? I'm just gonna go into uh, my masks. There's only one mask. I'm gonna go to mask feather. We're going to do a base just as, as little as we can before that goes away. Perfect. Maybe a little bit more. There you go. So now let's play it back and make sure nothing's Throw that in there. And then, uh, and, uh so what are we There you go. Is, nicely blended. Uh, I'm just going to use like a magic word. I mean, you do notice here. Uh, I'm just going to use like a water. I'm going to use like a... Yeah, yeah. Okay. I get it. Um, okay. So... Yeah, if you notice this water is, uh, I'm just gonna use this like a magic kind of kind of does that. I mean, there's a little skip there that's uh, buffering, but uh, in the original, in the final video, you'll see it as well. You can mask this kind of stuff though, 
um see how everything's on a tripod well you definitely want to make sure that everything's on a tripod the whole time um because of the matching and everything so you don't have to do any tracking it would be a bloody nightmare if you had to do that um but what you can do is I, i'm not showing this but i'm just going to give you this information but uh what you can do is you can uh clear frame and then you can just take a video with a handheld from the same angle um and then you can track something in the background what i would do is to put some tracking markers on the background hold like hand hold the uh the, the camera to it the whole entire you know duration of the video so like i say two minutes or a minute and a half and what you do is you just record that and you can use that tracking data to kind of just apply to this so it looks like it's handheld the whole time so it's not so you know um on a tripod and that trick right there will kind of hide little things like this like if you have a little problem like that where it's kind of moving like that the movement of the camera will completely hide that so it's kind of handy that way um, it'll also you know hide other little in you know issues that you're having so um, that's pretty much it right there so um, another thing here this is this is just another uh, bonus for you guys uh, what I did here is at the end I walk in here and I just can't get it focused <laughs> So I'm I'm fighting the focus here and I'm like, oh God, I can't do this. So I had to get my cameraman to come over here and focus it for me um, on another shot. So that's why I have this tiny clip here. And this is just me stepping in and him focusing it. Now, it didn't play well and it looked weird when I cut it. So what I did was I took it about here, trim that. Then I get the point where I step off a frame because I literally stand here trying to focus the whole thing. I'm like, I'm having a hard time with autofocus is on it. <laughs> anyway, so here I walk over here and then boom, right there. And I'm gonna take both of these clips. I'm gonna trim that right in. And I'm gonna take this guy, put it on. Well, it doesn't matter if it's on top or not. But yeah, now we got me stepping out, me stepping in. Now, another thing here, we got this problem here. Put the camera here real quick. And okay, and, and here. The focus changes right there. So again, we got this little magic trick here. We just go over here. And then we'll just do, let's zoom in here. A bit more. And then I'm gonna take this guy, put it on top. And then I'm gonna do the transparency as well from zero to a hundred. And what that does is it slowly makes it look like it's going autofocus instead of cutting. Okay, yeah. and here it is. See? So now you're getting that from here where I step out, goes a little bit of autofocus look rather than just jumping so it doesn't look like a clip. Real quick. Okay, yeah. uh, and here it is. You guys Here's shouldn't the, uh... run into that issue um, unless you're like me and don't really plan things properly. But, you know, it's a run and gun thing sometimes, and that's just what happens. So um, what I'll do is uh, for this video, I'm going to include the uh, project files, um, which is just a whole bunch of videos of me. That you guys can test, but I would recommend doing it yourself, setting everything up. Uh, another thing we could have done is you notice here uh, while I'm doing my trick, there's nothing here on the ground. But when I remove that, you're going to notice that black mark is there. So that was when we set that up. Hopefully nobody notices, but you can literally go in there and you can change, you can uh, kind of erase that uh, if you want to go in and paint that out. Um, little details like that. Uh, so if you have any questions, anything like that, put it in the comments. Let me know how you think about this uh, particular tutorial if you want me to do more. And uh, if you have any questions or concerns, any issues, anything's breaking, let me know. And uh, yeah, the project files and stuff will be linked in the description. Thank you very much for watching my tutorial and I will see you on the next one. Don't forget to like and uh, subscribe if you really want to. Hit the notification bell if you really, really love me. Hopefully you do because I love you guys. So yeah, I'll see you guys on the next video.